Hi, welcome to PIC Programming. So you will see GPIO programming of PIC 16F877A microcontroller. So how to work with GPIOs which means IO ports of PIC microcontroller by using MPLAB and produce combination. So this MPLAB ID you had installed with your computer and go for the procedure how to work with this MPLAB IDE. So within this window choose project tab and select the option project wizard <coughs> and click on next. And now here you can choose your pick microcontroller from all different series you can choose your own device this compiler allows all these series so now I'm going to select which is pick 16f 877a this is my device and click on next and this pick microcontroller allows so many tool shoots which is CCC com CCS compiler and high tech compiler and high tech universal shoot these are all the pick C compilers you can check here so you have to add all these compilers individually so which if if you are not installed this tool shoot try to install any one of these three yes select your compiler now I selected high tech and CC compiler and click on next now so here you have to create your own project the specific name and now so I'm going to choose my own folder now I'll create my folder for all pick programs now so give your file name which is gpio programming and click on save and now you can identify the path so within your computer click on next next finish so up to now you created a project with a specific target device which is pick 16f 877a now so go for file tab and choose the option new so this is the text editor here you can write your program for pick families and so this is a header file which is pic.h so all micro microchip families which allows this header file name which is pic.h this is the main now so for all gpios so you have to configure either input or output by using Tris register for your pick microcontroller there are five ports A B C D E so with the help of this Tris register Tris is a SFR register of pick microcontroller which configures your IO pins which means GPIOs either input or output so if you are looking for all pins as output make it zeros so now I am assigning all trist register values as zeros so I am going to configure as output lines so I have five IO ports so this trist is the only configuration register either input or output so 
this is D and E. So these are the five registers I'm going to configure as output. And I'll check some different values with certain time delays. Otherwise, you can assign your own values for your IO pins. So this is a while. Now, so a compiler which is executes the statements whatever you are writing within this while loop. And now, so all the registers of pick family you have to write in capital letter and use the complete name port A. So I'll assign hexadecimal value 555. By default, all these ports has logic zeros. So port B, which is another value. For port C, 99. And port D, 66. And port E, So any different hexadecimal values you can assign for your JPIO ports. Now, so try to save this file with .c extension. So where you located your program project, which is a program. And now my file name is JPIO programming and give the file name with .c extension click on save and now you have to add this source file with this source files just right click on source file option and choose the option add files and this is a C program I want to compile select your C file and click on open and if you want to check the errors and warnings of this program, you can choose the option build. So this is the complete. So once you got build successful, then your program which compiled successfully without errors and warnings. So now I just want to see check these values the same values which are assigned or not with the simulation so you can open your simulation tool which is Proteus and just check your controller which is pick 16 f 8 double 7 a this is my pick controller and choose the leds to represent a value in your microcontroller now you can connect your all Red LEDs with the GPI woos, you can check your answer. So, just I'll connect with two individual ports, which are port C and port D. So, this is the complete 8 LEDs and then so I'll connect for port B
so make sure all anodes which are connected with IOs and cathodes will be grounded this is RB0 just check out for which IO port you are connecting your LEDs These are the MSB bits of port B. And now, so I will connect with port D. Eight LEDs. So just we will cross check the values whatever you assigned in program so maintain your wiring in a good manner So then there is no complexity to understand which line passed to which I open. all anodes which are connected with GPIOs and take the ground and connect ground with all cathode lines so you can test your values whatever you passed in the program so just this is GPIO testing so the assigned values based on assigned value you will get the related LED comes to on this is the proper connection with IOs with LEDs and take one more ground to connect with all cathodes of port B Now connect the cathode lines with this ground. This is the hardware design to check two port values, port B and port D. Now link the X file which you created from your microchip ID. So this is the hex file you have to choose, not COF. Choose the dot X file. And click on open now okay now you can play and you can check your result so according to program so which IO port consists which value so according to this port B which is AA and port D is 66 now I'll change this value as 55 and port B is AA so if you do any modification save and build every time these are the two shortcut buttons to do your build and save options
so this is the way you can test your output with jpi thanks for watching